Well, as uh, media reports of Twitter's imminent demise seem to have been greatly exaggerated, he just keeps making the platform better. And as I've said before, it's not all perfect, but it's definitely an improvement. Here's the headline. Elon Musk announces blanket amnesty for suspended users. And I think this was the only way to go. Because it's obvious at this point that the suspensions were largely doled out at, just for uh, political purposes. It was not a fair and unbiased process. It's just, you know, activists complain. And then if it's even just remotely, even just moderate, never mind right wing, it's gone. So I think this is the best way. Just start over from scratch and henceforth have a, a fair system that treats everybody equally, which is, of course, what the leftist, the leftist activists are terrified of. So Elon Musk tweeted out this poll should Twitter offer a general amnesty to suspended accounts, provided that they have not broken the law or engaged in egregious spam? 72% of people said yes. And Elon said, uh, the people have spoken. Amnesty begins next week. Vox Populi, Vox Day. Uh, the voice of the people is the voice of God. And I've said before that that sounds a little bit like mob rule to me, but but we have to keep in mind that uh, this poll is a poll of the users of Twitter. And it doesn't seem like a bad idea to find out what the users of the platform actually want. And you've got 72% of uh, the users out of uh, 3.1.62 million votes that want the general amnesty. And then you've got the 27% that doesn't want it, which I assume is uh, mainstream media journalists and left-wing activists. And, of course, people uh, had some suggestions on Twitter. Here's Tom Fitton from uh, Judicial Watch. He said, please limit content moderation to illegal content or, at most, a narrow interpretation of moderation under Section 230 and give users the tools that enable the freedom to choose what content they see. So, in other words, just let people moderate what they see themselves. Elon Musk said, that's the general idea. Here's one from uh, Shibatoshi Nakamoto. Well, whatever it decides to do, Twitter should be clear and consistent about its rules and penalties for breaking them. Enforcement should be unbiased, and the mechanisms of enforcement shouldn't be easily abused by people who have an agenda. Uh, Musk said, the more I learn, the worse it gets. The world should know the truth of what has been happening at Twitter. Transparency will earn the trust of the people. So the more I learn, the worse it gets. Yeah, and uh, Elon just uh, revealed to us this uh, apparently hidden closet at Twitter headquarters that was full of all these uh, T-shirts and, and items of clothing that said stay woke on them, hashtag stay woke. And of course we knew that's what Twitter was all about. But if Elon is going to reveal the stuff he's learned, I mean, obviously a lot of it's going to be about political bias. And I think we're going to find out because he's saying the world should know the truth of what's been happening at Twitter. Transparency will earn the trust of the people. And I think that's what people have been clamoring for for a long time. Isn't it just transparency and fairness? Yeah, and these are things that uh, the modern left does not like at all. And if you just check out the other big tech social media platforms, yeah, they don't like it either. But anyway, uh, yeah, things are getting better on Twitter. And before this blanket amnesty, uh, he'd already uh, reinstated the Babylon Bee, a satire site, never should have been suspended in the first place. Uh, Jordan B. Peterson. Now, both the Babylon Bee and Jordan B. Peterson were banned for uh, basically blaspheming against radical gender theory. I mean, that's just explicitly partisan right there. But also at Project Veritas. And they got banned just simply because they embarrassed uh, Democrats. And, of course, Donald Trump. Again, an entirely political move. But under this uh, blanket amnesty, I wonder, will it include Alex Jones? If it's a blanket amnesty, it should. Because it's only supposed to exclude people who've broken the law and for egregious spamming. He hasn't done either of those. And as I said, uh, you know, Twitter isn't perfect yet. Here's what uh, Elon Musk said himself about the new Twitter policies. He said, new Twitter policy is freedom of speech, but not freedom of reach. Negative hate tweets will be max deboosted and demonetized. So no ads or other revenue to Twitter. You won't find the tweet unless you specifically seek it out, which is no different from the rest of the internet. Note, this applies to the individual tweet, not the whole account. So if you do something that qualifies as negative or hate, um, that tweet will be 
be boosted and basically shadow banned, but your account won't be, at least according to this. The question is, of course, I mean, who, it's always the question, who is going to decide what's negative or hate? I mean, these are terms that are overly broad and always in the eye of the beholder. So that's a concern. But that said, we're seeing huge improvement. I mean, things are definitely getting way better. And, you know, you have to take the wins. So I am absolutely optimistic about the uh, future of free speech on Twitter. And when you see the success of platforms like Rumble and Odyssey, I mean, there is reason to be optimistic. Anyway, please subscribe, like, and share. Sharing really helps me out. I thank you for that. I will see you next time.